Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications from our channel. Subscription is completely free. Hey you guys, in this video we're going to talk about how you can install Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7 or any operating system in your PC in just 2 minutes. So let's get started. It's my so first of all you need to download this little software is some kb i think it's just 945 kb so just download it link will be given in the description after that just go into chrome and start looking out for the iso file like download windows 10 iso so this is the microsoft link the official link just download you can download tool from here and it will automatically install this is their tool but you need to get the iso file so this is the thing you should go for iso file okay so after the after downloading iso file uh, well there's another option you can download from some websites like pirate bay or per, uh, personally i like kuhia.com kuhia download windows 10 you can type something like that and it will pop up i personally download pirated windows 10 from this site and it's pre you know genuine so just download from here any version you like uh, like i use windows 10 pro so after downloading the iso file just open the software and plug in plug in your usb drive you can just re reallocate this so once you plug it in your usb drive you can see over here this is my 8gb pen drive so you can use 4gb but uh, like windows 10 new versions are further more than like 4.5 gb 4.7 gb like the iso file so you better go for 8gb so over here you just need to do one simple thing which is just select the iso image if it's not selected automatically just select iso image over here don't fuck with these things and just browse here you click on there and browse your file like i have to go go into this folder os right now i'm gonna go for windows 7 service, service pack one okay this is the august version and it's also downloaded from korea.com so just click on the iso file and click open so it says ready you're done now one thing you need to know is that partition scheme and target uh, system type this is an important step because uh, you see uh, there are two types of system type like uh, one is UEFI and the other another one is legacy so you have to just know just go into the BIOS and check out which type of um, software provider your PC or your laptop ha is uh, having so like in my case I have UEFI so I will go for GPT partition or the MBR like I personally use MBR partition for BIOS or UEFI it works it works for me like it works fine so I'll go for it like in my laptop case in my laptop it is legacy mode so I have to go for the GPT that's it it's just a simple difference you can go for both but one at one time it will show an error uh, while installing so better do that first so w once you've checked it out just select your preference and it's your choice you want to do for the ntfs or the fat 32 well i suggest ntfs and just click start it says it is gonna like delete everything just click ok and now uh, this task is started so i'm gonna speed up from here because it will take around 5 10 minutes depending upon your processor speed So after like 15 minutes, it's done. Took some time though. So, yep, you're now ready. You can just close out here. 
and then you can go to your USB. You can see this is your USB drive now, and it's ready to get into boot. So the next step is turning off your PC, obviously, and when you turn it on, just click like the, your function key. It's different for every motherboard and every laptop. So just click that and select USB, flash by USB, and just follow follow the lead in the Windows driver. That's it for the video. If you still need some help regarding the software or anything else, just leave a comment below and I'll try to help you. See ya. Good night.